Good morning. It is Sunday. Uh, I don't know the date. I think it's May 3rd. I am up here going to do a quick live again. Said I wasn't going to do a live, but I'm going to. I got home and thought about this piece. This is the piece I glazed yesterday. And when I got home all night long, I thought about this. You see this? This is Dixie Bell Turquoise Teal Gilding Wax. See that? That's the color I want. How do I get that color? Simple. I got Dixie Bell Turquoise Teal Gilding Wax. It is water based. It is $13.95. We have these in other colors. It is water based, so I've already stuck my finger in there. And just like wax, you kind of go like this. And like butter, it softens when you put the heat of your hand. And I do have a baby wipe and a paper towel, a little bit of water. So I can erase in places, but I've already started. Can you see the difference here to here? This was glazed in a really pretty blue, but now I'm using the turquoise teal gilding wax. That's the color. This is the color all night long. Hey, Lisa. I thought about this and I'm up close just to show you. I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to go back over here and I'm just going to actually apply this like finger paint. I'm just going to go up and I'm putting it on the accents and letting the raised parts see the difference now. This stuff, look how pretty that is. Iridescent gilding wax. Comes in copper, comes in silver, comes in, I think, a patina green. I always envisioned coastal blue, which is this to me is ocean water so let me just show you this is this this is the patina green now i'm not opposed to going back after this one dries overnight maybe coming back with this gilding wax and green patina and accenting with that a little bit because ocean waters have all that but let me just real quick these are all the gilding wax colors 13.95 we can ship them hi happy painter good morning I'm up close this time so you can see. So I am finger painting. I'm going to work at 20 over here now. This is what it looks like with just the glaze on. This is what it's going to look like with the gilding wax. This particular gilding wax is water based. A lot of products when it comes to wax are oil. So oil based. So you can't just use your finger and then rinse it off. This product you can and even though it's water-based just like I was talking the other day with my analogy of when you take your plates and put them in the sink cannot be used on wood actually Dawn this um this piece here is wood oh uh, we'll see this is just a piece of wood that they used for the swatch to show you so this is actually on wood See it? So that's actually on natural wood and it soaks in. And what I, one of the things I say, Don, just like when you eat oatmeal and you have it in your bowl and you put it in your sink, when you first put it in there, within seconds you can take water on a paper towel and wipe it out of your bowl really easily. And that's what the case is here. Right now, I can wipe this off really easily. But as you let it dry, yes, Don, you can put it on wood. Just know, Don's asking if we can put this on wood, and this is on wood. This is a wood piece that's been used as a swatch, so that's on wood. But just like in the analogy, you would want to let it dry for days, and with this wax, even though it's water-based, I would let it dry overnight at least, 24 hours, up to 48 hours. I like to even go 72 hours before I'm going to seal it. Um, of course, I put the camera way over here now, so let me just... Since you get the idea of what I'm doing, I'm going to go back to setting up the camera. Let me adjust this now that you see what I'm working on. Just want to let you know we are live and we're in the store. We are technically not open, but we do have people coming for pickups. So even from that far away, you can see that this is really pretty and it's really giving it that pop of coastal waters that I wanted. I thought about it all night. I love the glaze and the glaze worked. It's the combination for me of layering. I went with the glaze that I put on yesterday. Um, 
for those who didn't watch the live yesterday, it was Dixie Belle Sapphire Pearl Glaze. I know this is backwards. I put this on, and a glaze is not a wax. A glaze is just kind of watered down paint. That's not exactly what it is, but that's the consistency. So when it dries, it sticks into places that are raised or insets, and that's where you get a little bit of the color. It's like a thin wash of color. This wax will set up nice and give it some substance. That's why you can see the wax brighter than you can the glaze. Can we see ya? Hi, Jason. Hey, hey. Jason just had a couple in a family come in. By the way, we do have masks. We are not open, but when they came, we had our mask on and they picked up a piece of furniture. We are so grateful for you guys shopping local and supporting us. Um, it's the difference of us staying afloat and not even though the governor has raised the uh, stay at home shelter we are still only going to limit hours once we're allowed to open next week and we're going to wear masks and we are going to protect our crew our family and our consigners and of course our customers so bear with us as i know some of you want us to be open full time and some of you don't want us to be open we're going to do our best doing what's right for all of us so there you go all right, I know you can't see. I wish, you know, I might bring the camera back closer because it's amazing. Now the problem is once you do something like this, you want to put it everywhere. See that? Now I got a little bit, a little bit here. Can you see that? So I put it on his part, but it also got a little bit on this part. I can wipe that down because just like the oatmeal effect, it's still water soluble. It still can be wiped down. Another thing you can use that's great, take your, uh, your baby wipes, put them in here, spray them with a little bit of water so they stay extra moist, and then you can wipe stuff back all the time. You can see? Okay, good. I'm glad. Thank you, Letha. Um, so you can take this back and wipe this off, but I actually like the fact that it got here on the edge a little bit where I wasn't expecting it to get. That's because my finger went off the edge. I have a fat finger, I can see. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of accentuate so it matches up. See that? I'm just dragging that down. I'm just re-dipping my finger right into that so that it kind of matches. Oh, I'm loving this. Problem is I wanna put it on everything now. And then you don't wanna go overboard, but you know, sometimes overboard's more fun. Take a look. You like it? Yeah. Gilding wax is totally different from glaze. You get a really good. Now is this just like, do you go through and wipe it off after? You can wipe it back. Like I was telling them it's water-based. So you can take a baby wipe or a paper towel, just, just damp and wipe it back down. But I like the pop of color. So I have chosen to leave it. And I did get some here that I can wipe down, but instead I'm just using my finger to blend it in. Yeah. Blend it in. And I know that looks kind of strange up close and at first, but once it dries, you'll see it kind of like, it looked like it was meant to be like that. So I'm gonna add some more over here. I don't know if we can see. No, I'm blocking, hold on. <laughs> I'm adding some on the inset. So I got it on here, but now I'm getting it a little bit over here. You can also, let's just go a little crazy. I'm going to, and again, it's just like butter and you're doing this and it warms it up so it makes it pliable. This looks like a small little container. This will last me six months maybe longer so i'm gonna do here's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add a little bit of gilding wax here in this design right on the wood door the painted door i painted this and i'm not gonna do it the same i'm using my finger to make it quote Hand-painted, finger-painted. <laughs> sometimes brushes are wonderful, and sometimes just using your finger makes it more organic and you have more control. So I'm going to just continue because I like that. I'm just accenting where I stenciled this. If you didn't see me stencil this, just go down to our Facebook Live, the other side vintage, and you'll see where I stenciled this. And now I'm going to go over here to make it match. See how there's some places... So the color I was talking about, high rock, or the effect I was looking for was ocean watercolors. And that's what this is. This wax 
is a gilded wax. Not just regular wax, it's gilded, which means shiny to me. When you gild something, you're adding shine. So now I'm just gonna rub that in. I'm finger painting. That one definitely got more than others. Can you tell? That's fine. I'm liking it. And then as it dries, if you don't like the fact this one has more than one over here, go back and finger paint. Again, your kids can help you with this because this is going to wipe right off. It's water-based. To get it on your clothes, mm, if you're wearing white like I am, it may not come out very easily. It will come out, but it'll definitely leave a little bit because if I was wearing black, which I normally am, or a darker color, it would come out, but because I'm wearing white, heck, I might even make myself have a watercolor shirt. So, here we go. Did I mean to finger paint the design? No. Did I just go with it when I saw it and thought, hey, that would be cool? Yes. So again, just go with whatever you want. I've been working on this project in layers. A little bit here and there. You'll see if you just go through all our lives or go to our YouTube where we repost our lives. I am just going to add it. I am choosing what I would like in my house or my office. And then if someone else likes it, they'll buy it. If I did it based on what other people wanted, which is a custom job, it would not make me happy. I may not like what I was doing and I prefer to do what I like and have fun with it. So look, look at that pop of color. Now we're getting to where I wanted. I envisioned a watercolor thing. Now see, I only did a little bit here. Now I noticed this one has a lot more than that. And so I'm gonna even that out a little bit by just going back over this. And yes, I can take my water on a paper towel and diffuse this, but I'm really liking this. I know it looks like a hot mess right now, but once it dries, it'll still be vibrant. It won't be as garish as it may look on camera right now. Yeah, I'm liking this. Good job, <laughs> even if I have to say so myself. Finger painting, who knew? Something you learned in kindergarten, or maybe even before kindergarten. If your kids are still home, I think they are all summer now, you can finger paint with them. And if you don't like it, you just wipe it back. Or you can paint over this. This is all paint. All this is paint except for this wax right here. Hi, Michelle Rauschenberg. Michelle, I'm using this gilding wax. Turquoise teal is what it's called, and I am finger painting. All right. Now, I'm going to step away and see that I see that some are less than others, and I kind of like that, but I am going to go back and touch up my finger marks because some are like where I dabbed with my finger and others are smeared. I'm liking the smear. Gosh, that makes me want to bagel with a <laughs> smear of cream cheese. All that's on my mind is food. Again, we are closed today. We're just doing some pickups, so we came down to sell this dresser that just went. I'm going to love that they love that dresser because the dresser was really cool. I don't have a picture of it right now. All right, so there you see. There's those pops of color. Now, I'm going to try to angle this back, and I'm going to do something garish to me and to you. Oh, let's see if I can do this. Yes, look up my nose. That's fine. <laughs> I cannot get the camera to go further back. You see? You see all this? <sighs> it's calling. It's calling for blue. Now, if you watch this in the very beginning, I know I'm tilted. I was painting this piece, and if you watch back, there was a little bit of blue that came out. Even though I had wiped it down with cleaner and had got it prepared, when I painted it, Whoever had it before, a little pop of color came through, and it was a blue that reminded me of watercolor, which I love. Anything that has to do with ocean or watercolors. Um, ocean, water, summer, spring. Now I'm getting it on all my fingers and really accenting this. So that gave me a hint of what I wanted. When I originally was going to just go neutral, I decided I liked that pop of blue that popped out. Let's see if I can make you really dizzy. Let me tell you what I was talking about. I'm going to try to go slow. 
So you wash pieces down, get all the dirt off, clean them up, let them dry, and then you put your paint on them. And then, is it showing up? Where's my finger? Right there. See that pop of blue? Whoever had this before, I'm guessing a child had a marker or something. And when I painted it, it reactivated it. And I was like, I love that. So I didn't cry over spilt milk. I decided, hey, that's a good idea. Whoever did that. Sorry, this is moving. Um, so now you see the hot mess I've made up here. I am going to take this baby wipe that I have. Any cheap brand will do. It is wet down. It's not completely, completely wet, but it is pretty moist. That word everybody hates. And I'm diffusing this wax while it's still wet. Sorry, I'm off camera. All right, almost done. Gosh, it's so hard. I'm going to, tilted back is making me. Hi, Cindy. So I'm gonna, Cindy, I'm adding gilding wax to this piece. Now, let's see if I can get it where you can see. See this top piece? Yeah, it needs some turquoise teal as well. I've decided. So again, it's like butter. You just do this and it warms up and gets on your finger. You can use a brush. You can use any brush you want. I prefer to use my finger on this. So let's pull up the britches so they don't fall down. <laughs> and I'm just going to use my finger to accent. Can you see that from way over there? And I kind of want to accent a lot there. Now, a little bit more. Accenting. I'm just taking my finger over the edges and letting the high points grab that gilding wax and take it from me and do whatever it wants to do. Then I'm going to rub sideways and then pull down. Yeah, I like it. Just saying. All right, you guys. I might add a little bit on this little part too. A little bit more, just with my finger, and this little raised insets there. Don't worry if it catches on spots more so in others because it's just organic. A little bit more. Girls, if you ever use lip gloss, lip balm, if it's in a little tin, this is the same thing. It has the same texture. Lip balm. Don't put this on your lips. I mean, you could wear it because it is all natural and it's water-based, so it's not going to hurt you. Okay, got a little bit on the side there. Went ahead with it, and I'm just going to make it even by carrying that over. All right. Touching it up. Looks like a hot mess, I'm sure, from over there. And we are officially not open right now. We will be opening up sometime this week. Hey, Barbara Simmons of Simmons Art Gallery in Railroad Square Art Park. Barbara, I was finger painting with um, some turquoise teal gilding wax because I decided I wanted some watercolor effect because I love the ocean look. I close. Does anybody else buy lip balm and then it's hard to open? There, it comes in a little tin. $13.95, different colors. So yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna step back and I might decide to add some here on these edges. These are fluted and I may just accent those a little bit and I may accent a little bit on the drawers, but I won't bore you, just gonna show you. So again, we're gonna be opening up next week per the governor's orders of Florida. We are only gonna open up a couple hours a day, certain days, wearing our masks, I'm not wearing mine right now because I'm the only one in the room and we're not officially open. So just want to know, watch our Facebook for shout outs. Check out our Instagram. The other side, vintage.com has all our links. Here comes Jason when I just said there's nobody else in here. I'm finishing uh, up. We don't have to have masks yet. We don't do this. 
Hey, hey, you're finishing up. Barbara so said he's time. watching. Hey, See hey. him in Barbara Simmons. So, yeah. So, I went a little hog wild, and there's a little bit more up here. But, like I told them, they can take their, what did I take it? Baby wipe and diffuse it if they want. It's water beast, but I kind of like how it is. It looks kind of garish, <laughs> but I'm going to just let it go. And Sometimes then, garish works. Don't forget, though, the beauty of this product is it's water based. So, guess what? The paint's water based too. Hey, Jean. So I can take my white Dixie Belle paint and any spot that I don't like where it is, I just take a little dab of my paint, go right over it, and yes, you can paint over wax. Normally, no, but because it's water based wax, Cindy says, Hey, I want some of that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I love this. And Cindy, it comes, I don't know if you saw, the other part I like is green patina. I may actually go back and put another layer. This is what I'm using. It comes in this beautiful warm gold. It's not showing the shiny because of the thing. Here's a bronze. There is a hammered copper. That's amazing. There is a Anastasia. I don't know why this deeper copper reddish tone is called Anastasia. This is sterling silver. And this is black gilding wax. So I am using this and I may come back tomorrow or the next day once it's dry and add a little bit of this. But right now we're using that. Turquoise. But again, because it's wax and it's water-based, I can paint over this with a water-based paint, which is the Dixie Belle or whatever. Acrylic paint is water-based, so any of that. So anything you don't like and it went a little too far, if there is such a thing, you can paint over it and cover up any oopsies or again baby wipe with a little bit of water and just smooth it out while it's still damp you've got about 20 minutes or so and then i'll let this cure overnight because i'm not going to be here because we're close hey flo casa de soul flo is just telling them i am waxing with the gilding wax in this turquoise teal it's water based so i'm just using my finger so i'm finger painting and i decided the last second to add it on the door too all right, you guys, I'm gonna let you get back to what you're doing. We are officially not open. We were just here meeting a customer, picking up a dresser, which is called a pickup curbside, but we had to get it out to the car. We had our mask on. We're being very conscious of the fact that just because the governor says we can open back up on Monday does not mean that everything is safe and secure and the light switch goes back on and okay, nobody's gonna get sick now. So we're very conscious of that. Again, here we go, 1395. We can ship this. Thank you, Florence. Flo. Um, and here's the baby wipe that I just sprayed with a little water and I've been wiping down. I can take clean off my hand with that too. And then if you have a project, like, again, I always say I have a canvas sitting there. If you have a blank canvas, you could take this and wipe it on the canvas. And that way you would have a kind of a design. So you can always use what you have left over too. So easy clean up so you can have the kids use it there is no smell whatsoever and this wax unlike a lot of waxes is water-based so we can paint right back over it so there you go baby wipe all right you guys i'm going to play a little bit longer and then i'm gonna get out of here and go home and work on stuff and we'll see you next week thank you for sharing thank you for supporting local go to railroadsquare.com check out barbara simmons art gallery um Karen's here. Check out Community Thrift. Check out all your local Tallahassee local operated businesses and support us all. Thank you so much. Hi, Carol. Real quick, Carol. I'm leaving. So you're catching at the end, but you can watch the replay. I was using this, Carol, and it is turquoise teal gilding wax. That's what I was using to accent this piece with my finger, like a watercolor. Hi, Karen. So community thrift, you guys shop at community thrift too. All right. See you later. Have a great Sunday.